Call it to the field, drivers behind the lines in three, two, one, go. Well, location match 54, we're moving into the autonomous period where the programs are completely pre-programmed. 720 fixed gears making their way across there and outside of their community station. We'll to see if they make their way back onto their charge stage for additional points. The Red Alliance is getting lots of points for 31-47 being balanced at the end of autonomous period. As we move to the tally off, the students have picked up their controllers and are now controlling their robot directly. 1741, I believe that's Red Alert, using their human player station to pick up a cone outside of their loading dock. They're swiftly making their way across the field into their grid. The higher they score, the more points they'll find for their team to adore. 3147 also placing a cone in the upper part of their grid, scoring lots of points at their alliance. The Red Alliance has taken a quick lead, but it's not at well, for, quite out yet for the Blue Alliance. 1018 and 74, 77 having bumper on bumper action towards the center of the field. That's allowed as long as they keep it to a minimum. 1720 making their way over their charge station. Sometimes it's quicker to go over than around, but additional damage can be applied to your robot. 1018 making a quick snatch of the cube in their loading dock, ramming right into their Blue Alliance opponent as they made their way over to their grid. Remember, the name of the game is Lynx. That's three game pieces horizontally placed in the grid. Currently, they need five of those to get the extra ranking point to affect their rankings. However, they place enough pieces in the co-op partition zone, that's the center grid, then they can lower that threshold to four, which they have now successfully done. Just a minute remaining in the match. 2867 has seen a unique gravity-assisted orientation mechanism, allowing them to not have active control of the orientation of the cone, but they can successfully place it still on the top row of the grid, allowing to score more points for Alliance. They are currently a couple of game pieces away, or two links from that extra ranking point. 1741 precisely placing the cube in the center of their grid, looking to score a couple more in order to complete links. That train horn sound means there's less than 30 seconds in the match left. We call that end game. So points can now be scored by le leaving the match in the charge fist station in a level or unlevel configuration. Of course, they want it to be level to score more points for their alliance. We'll see multiple robots, currently three for the blue alliance that they're attempting. They have about eight seconds left to make that level. The red alliance already happy with their orientation. The blue alliance skedaddling off to make sure they don't discount their opponents. That was end of qualification match 54. Here are your scores, qualification match 54. And your winners are the Red Alliance with a score of 150 and four ranking points, causing all of those members on the Red Alliance to increase their ranking average and thus their rank in the competition. 1741 moving into the eighth rank, allowing them to be a picking alliance that they can maintain that position by the end of qualification period.